Well, here we are in the Bugbrook Historical Microcomputer Museum with uh, Malcolm McLeod from Australia, and I've been visiting a museum, just came from the Computer Fest. Um, Malcolm, what do you think of the uh, museum here? Yes, hi Dave, thanks for coming down and meeting me here in person today. It's a, a fabulous museum. It's, uh, it's great to see some of the familiar um, microcomputers that I've seen elsewhere, and also some very unique pieces that I haven't seen anywhere else before. And of course, uh, Dave, your commentary on the, the background of uh, these machines is invaluable, so yeah, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Well, like I said, some of the fascinating one is that data point, and I notice you, I mean, you're taking a data point book with you. What do you think of that? Yeah, indeed. I'm uh, very happy to be taking the, the data point uh, uh, book home that tells the, tells the story of the, of the background of the machine, and that might be uh, reading for me on the plane on the way home, I think. Well, that'll be good reading. And of course, uh, you know our story a little bit about working with uh, Dr. John Titus, Chris Titus, and Professor Roney, and We've given you an 8080 microcomputer code card there, too. Yes, indeed. And that, that was 1976. Yes, and uh, it's in the, in the slide rule format. And uh, as, as we move across there, we can see the uh, octal codes for the various instructions and uh, all grouped very logically by instruction type, which is uh, fascinating. So uh, and a very nice souvenir to be taking home. Thank you. Oh, you're quite welcome. Any particular computer strike your fancy here in the museum? I've got to say I've got a soft spot for the Altairs. Altairs. And, uh, uh, it's one I don't have in my collection at the moment, and uh, it certainly does catch my eye when I, when I see a, a very nicely presented one, as, as you've got in your display case here. Uh, but really, there's a lot of machines here that I, I find fascinating, some of which I have in my own collection, and, and as I said, many I don't. Well, we're delighted to have you here, and uh, it's always fun to have people come in that actually know some of the history. We have a lot of people that get fascinated with it, but uh, that's great. So Dave, uh, I noticed you've got some very interesting pieces in this cabinet here, um, some of which are very familiar to me and others I've certainly heard about but never seen close up. The IMSI 8080 is uh, one of my favourite machines. It's the earliest S100 machine I have, given that I don't have an Altair. Um, and this, this particular um, one on display is in uh, excellent condition. Um, I've never seen the um, Intellect, Intellect 4. 4 up close before, but um, it's uh, obviously got um, a very interesting history being the development platform for the 4004, I believe. Right, it is. Mm -hmm. um, the ZX80 is one that I um, had involvement with as a, as a kid, actually. One of my first jobs was uh, doing repairs on these. Oh, uh, really? When I was a teenager and I was being paid a bit rate of, I think, $15 per machine for each one I fixed. Mm -hmm. And they were notorious for some power supply problems, big overheating and so on, given that they had so many components crammed into a small space. Um, so I learned actually a lot about electronics from that machine. I've got to say with the keyboard that they had on them, I wasn't particularly interested in programming. That's right. Um, and then we've also got the Osborne here, um, which I've not really had a lot of experience with, but um, I, I know that uh, one of the things that was remarkable about this machine was that it became it came bundled with a whole lot of uh, business application software, um, and the cost of the computer with the software was around about the cost of getting the software separately. So. Um, the small screen may not have been that useful for business applications, but certainly pretty um, small. Yeah, it was an interesting, interesting way to package and market the the system. And we've got the Mark Eight up there on the top. Yes, indeed. Um, and uh, this is one that's uh, certainly uh, what's, well, a machine you certainly don't see a combination you don't see very often elsewhere. Um, uh, fascinating seeing that here in the case. Uh, really, the only other piece that I'm familiar with here is the uh, is the Sim One. Oh yeah, we got the Sim One back there too. Yep. Uh, and the others, including the MMD one, um, which I, I now know a little bit more about the history of. Yep, that's uh, a John Titus computer, and uh, the Heathkit uh, H8, do you have one of those in your collection? I don't have one in my collection, uh, but I've certainly seen them before. Um, this is one that has the sloped cartridge, yeah. isn't it? The oh, one, yeah. The rack. Well, this is a little part of our museum here, but welcome. Thank you for a little description of part of our venue here. It's been a lot of fun. Appreciate you coming by.